Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Octopath Traveler 2. Today we are starting Casty's uh, Chapter 4. Casty memories have all returned to her and with them the horror reforming colleague, that guy, Purple Rain. Uh, she hurries to Timberrain to stop him. Oh, good name. Okay, I get it now. But sh will she be able to extend a helping hand to all those in need? And by all those in mean need, you mean the innocent people and we'll shank the guy trying to kill them all, yes? So this is Timberrain. Yeah. Trousseau said this town is where they're hosting the coronation. A lot of people are gathering by that castle. Which means that I've made it in time. There's a heaviness in the air. Rain is coming. Well, yeah, that's the whole gimmick, right? The heavens are on Trousseau's side. Trousseau! I need to learn my way around this town before it's too late. Already explored everything. Alright, where are we going? Uh, oh, okay, you guys have nothing? So you're, like, new. What a grand waste of people's taxes. I mean, you're the one that said it, not me. So those guys couldn't even be fought or anything. Hey, bone mender. Oh, yeah, God. You, Casty. Remember me? No. Master Edmund? Don't what call him doing? master. Kick him down the stairs. Living is what? Thanks to you, we've been accepted as citizens of Timberain. Today's the coronation, so we're out and forced to celebrate up a storm. The storm, you say? The prince is big on garish celebrations. People from all over the world have gathered here to join in the fun. Nice. Even some Scrivener types from the East. Hmm? Why the frown? <sighs> uh, trying to find a psychopath that's going to rain down poison on everyone? You gotta be kidding me. An attack on the coronation? Yeah, you gotta be kidding me. Shh. Keep your voice down. You'll give it away. So... You believe me? Of course I believe you. You're running around sticking your nose in other people's business again, trying to save the world. Right? That's actually kind of technically my business. You need my help, Bone Mender? You just say the word. Thank you, Master Edmund. On that note, I need you to get all these people far away from <laughs> That's... out of the rain. Really? Well, no, it doesn't even matter. They have to leave the entire area. It's being rained upon. Like, even if they're inside, it apparently affects them, right? Yeah, good luck with that. Huh? How am I supposed to move this many people? Me and my lot aren't sheepdogs, Bone Mender. <sighs> You're right. We don't have the numbers to evacuate everyone. But take that dog and get him to safety. Numbers, eh? I might be able to do something about that. Are we just gonna cause a mass panic? Travel Banta! So this is Timorain. Lerne, your eyes are sparkling. I've always wanted to see this place. They say the king collects precious gems from all across the land. I would love to get a close look at his collection. <laughs> oh, Throne, you really are wild for gems. I'm. <laughs> Cass is just like, I'm alright with you stealing shit, it's fine. I imagine he may have some necklaces that suit you perfectly, Casty. You don't say, you're making me curious to see this collection myself. Huh. Then it's settled, we can split the spoils 50 50. Bad, bad, Throne, no larceny! <laughs> I thought she was into it for a second. Hello? Uh, steal? Oh, cannot steal. 
Right. Ale! Where's our sodden ale? We're all here to toast our new king today. Anyone who doesn't drink's a traitor. And these people are... Drunk! Very drunk. Timberane soldiery. They're all a bunch of lousy drunks. But they'll be positioned all over town once the ceremony starts. That sounds promising. The townsfolk might not listen to us, but they'll listen to the guards for sure. If they believe you. Is that guy drinking Pepto-Bismo? Hey, hold up. What are you... Soldiers of Timber Rain. Oh, hey there. Come to sing us a song, have you? No, that's not our job. Sorry, no. My name is Casty. I'm a traveling apothecary. I've come to warn you of a dire threat facing your kingdom. I'm sure this is going to go swimmingly. A dire what's it? Rain. <laughs> it's going to rain out. Rain will soon fall across your lands. A terrible blight that will kill all it touches. <laughs> Enough with the bad jokes, girly. Today's a day for celebration, not just in poor taste. All right, we can just let these guys die. It's fine. This isn't a joke. If we don't get everyone to safety at once, Every last person here will die. I will need all of you to assist me if we are to save the lives of your people. Give me a break, deadly purple rain. Where's your proof? Uh, there's a dead town to the east of here. On another continent. <sighs> uh, what's that black mark on your arm? Oh, Dunno. right. But it grosses me out, it does. I was one of many victims of this poisonous rain. Unlike many, I was lucky to escape with my life. My friends and comrades, however, are all dead now. Every last one of them. Yeah, those two didn't really do much, did they? The ones that threw themselves- I guess they stopped the fire? But it still rained, right? Like, it didn't stop the rain. They saved my life. It was already too- well, I guess it maybe stopped from going into the... stream? I'm only standing here today because of their sacrifice. And now... To prevent that tragedy from ever happening again. To save your city and all of your lives. I beg you all to believe me. Lend me your aid, please. Hey, uh, what do you think? You're probably not going to go with it. I want to believe her, but honestly, I wouldn't want to believe her to be quite honest. That that's horrifying, but I know I know what you mean. How in the hell do we know we can trust her? I can't take it anymore. You're all a bunch of spineless good for nothing. Wait a sec. I know you, friends. We owe these two a tremendous debt. Are you they in the desert? Dozens of our comrades during the skirmishing with Sai. Sai? You mean to tell me she's the apothecary that saved my buddies from the sands? Yeah. <laughs> totally willingly, too. It's not like the game forced me to do it. It's thanks to this apothecary that we could finally make peace with the outsiders. 
We are soldiers of Timberrain, renowned for our honor. We cannot ignore this debt. Let us trust this apothecary who saved us once. This is the place that was fighting Let with Sai? chance to save us again. Cronus, you're just getting that now. I know they mentioned that early. Well, they didn't mention the fighting. They mentioned they were citizens here. You got it. But it kind of just mugs, stuck. Everyone. Like it and just, just it work. just struck me. We're gonna save this town. That's a far. That's a distance, Thank isn't you, it? Commander Griff. Oh, it's raining. Get everyone it's, inside. No, it, inside does not matter. The doors. Don't let the outside air in. Well, now they're just gonna suffocate. It's working. We'll leave the rest to these brave soldiers. In the meantime, I need to stop the rain at its source. Are you gonna go fight God? Or the weather system? Is in order. Hold up, Bone Mender. Where do you think you're going? Get inside, quick! Someone needs to stop Trousseau. He's not making the rain, though. He's, like, he hasn't poisoned it yet. You know where he is? No. I have a good idea. Do I? It was like the highest area? Probably. Make sure to get yourself inside once you get these people to safety, Master Edmund. Don't die, Bonemender. I mean, she Thank better not. Well. I kind of need her. I'll try. She's very good at keeping people alive in the, the like, boss fights and stuff like that. The side boss fights, anyways. He'll be somewhere high to spread his poison. Somewhere the wind blows strong. The Western Hills. They the fit the best. Western Hills. And yet, the skies tell another tale. The wind will shift soon. From west to north. Which means the highest point would be. In the city? In the city. Timberane Castle. How would you even get in there with all the guards? That's where you'll be, Trousseau. I mean, we've done it before, so I guess it's not that surprising. No party bander? Well, let's save. <laughs> Just in case I uh mess this up. Kinda wish we could steal from him. I mean, that's kinda counterproductive, isn't it, Kronos? Yeah, but... Hey, free stuff. Oh, this is a dungeon. This wasn't on the map before. Neat. They don't do it that often in this game, do they? Like, you can usually tell when something's uh, a dungeon or not. Hello? I can hear him breathing, but he's been put to sleep. Oh, I thought that was you. I thought he was talking! I was like, yeah, that's a weird sleep talk. Stand aside or fight. He brought porcupines? Well, he brought what? Axe attack. He brought porcupines. What to do? Like the dude's like, I'm gonna kill a bunch of people with rain, so I'm gonna bring my army of trained monster porcupines. Time to strike. This guy's an idiot. What a show. You're too kind. I mean, yeah, they're pretty tanky, I guess. So, cool for them? Well, now. Axe attack. Spiny shrew. So, hmm. what? They're not even porcupines. They're spiny shrews. Magia steed. Not help. That doesn't make any goddamn right. sense, to be quite honest, but all right. I still have much you, to Couldn't even call them hedgehogs? There, that's more accurate than a spiny shrew. Oh, way to hate on the spiny shrews, Kronos. Don't, you, don't fucking start with that. That's not a thing. 
You sure, Kronos? I'm great. Am I really gonna? Fine, fine. I have my phone right next to me at all times. So we'll just go over here, go in the Google, Spiny Shrew. Wait, is this actually a thing? I'm not, sp okay. Andrew Man's Spiny Shrew, but they're not really spiny. They don't have, sp they don't have spikes. I can't get a picture of one. Yeah, they don't, they're not, okay, maybe that one does. But all the other ones don't. Oh, fuck, okay, fine, fine. Okay, fine. Still not as threatening as a hedgehog. Not hedgehog, no, okay. It's as threatening as a hedgehog, to be quite honest, because hedgehogs are just adorable little creatures. Uh, but as a porcupine, also extremely adorable. Have you ever heard one eating like an apple? It is the cutest fucking thing ever. But, you know, you don't want to mess with them because they will spike your ass. Like, yeah, My don't, time. don't do that. They will, they will impale you with spikes. I mean, not really impale, well, they'll, it will hurt a lot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, an old dog of mine, uh, many years ago got hit by a porcupine. And my dad had a few dogs, actually, up there, uh, that got, uh, porcupined. Twice, actually, they don't learn. They <laughs> they're like, oh, porcupine, gotta get him, ow, what's that? Oh, that sucked. A month later, oh god, a porcupine. I gotta get it. I'm like, no, you idiots. Seriously? Uh. <laughs> I'll do what I must. Oh, Jesus. Hi, guys. How's it going? Ready. I'm assuming the other one's ice. If the other one isn't ice, I'm gonna be a little now sad. I mean, I can test that right now, can't I? This'll cool you down. Ah, yeah, okay, yeah. good. I was gonna say, if not ice, Here I come. you're lying to me. Thinking time. I mean, we're not gonna be able to break them unless Here's I put advanced magic on, which I can't do. <laughs> Neat. Cleaning time. You're too kind. Well, that one's almost dead. I, mean, I guess. Cool you, now. you know, I guess it is kind of accurate for her to have uh, an ice spell, right? Like if she has to cool someone's fever, my freeze them in a block of ice and kill them. I fight for my friends. You're right. That actually doesn't make too much sense, I guess. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. Nothing. Yeah. Uh, let me save. It's starting to change color. Which isn't good for us. True, so. I knew I'd find you here. And the poison is taking hold already. Yeah, I know. Has he found a way to make his toxins more potent? I mean, honestly, how long in between that village and this village? Like... It seemed like it was a while ago, yeah? I'm coming for you. So, maybe he did strengthen it. I would imagine he would, at some point. There's treasure over there. How do we get th oh that guy's totally fucking dead? Treasure up there as well. Honestly, mage robe. Um I don't know if that's gonna be Yeah, it's not right. We could put this on you. Lose some speed, but gain a good amount of defense, which I will help be your opponent. Well, you know, you don't have healing anymore. Huh. 
Well, I mean, when you put it that way, yeah, you're right. I guess we don't really need to put that on him, but you're really weak to that, huh? Ready? You're too kind. No. Should I give Hikari all the SP stuff? Magia Steve. Much appreciated, Oswald. My turn. Honestly, that should heal me for the combination of all of the damage. Like, I did, what, 2,000 damage to everyone? That should have healed me whatever percentage actually it heals. It might have. Yeah, I guess you're right, it might have. I don't actually know. No response. He's a deep sleep. He's fucking dead. What are you talking about? Nice. Figured there was gonna twenty three thousand dollars. My God. Figured there was gonna be something there, so we saw the chest. Need to go around for that one. Dragon's helm. Uh, evasion prevents unconsciousness. Okay. Prevents confusion would be better. Uh, was there nothing down here? Stand aside or fight. I did not heal my SP. Now it begins. Bye. <laughs> oh no! I'm still leaving. Oh, come on, game. That was pretty cool. Here I go. I'm out. Now to heal. And give me some SP, actually, please. Is this the way? No, good. Open that, please. Thank you. Going up? Up and over. Right. I get not much of uh, ingredients, huh? Can't go to the left. It's completely there. Interesting. I'm pretty sure he's dead. He's laying face down I'll in poison I'm rain. Awesome. He he did. Well now. Running credits, yeah, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just kind of just don't know. Honestly, no need. Uh, everyone healed up. No. And then we'll heal the SP because we can. And then we'll put on uh, a step ahead. That's a really broken uh, skill, I feel like. Well, maybe not broken, but really good skill for uh, combat. Trousseau. Oh, hello there, Chief. I'm surprised to see that you're still with us. I owe everyone my life. Well, it changes nothing. Are you here to watch as another town is swept away by my delicious rain? I won't let you do this. I mean, you kind of already started doing it. Yes, yes, I saw you guide the sheep into their hovels. Good work. Round of applause. Close the windows or bar the doors. The air will still get in. That's what, what I was saying earlier. As long as my precious smoke still rises, those people's lives are forfeit. 
trousseau. I still held out hope for you. Which is very stupid. He murdered an entire town. I thought that somewhere deep inside of you, the gentle man you once were still lived. Really dumb. But I was mistaken. Your heart is as black as the foul pestilence you spread. Well, now you're right. Oh dear. Are you threatening me? Aren't those hands made to save lives? Oh, you have not, not met her then at all, have you? I'm taking you down. It's the only way to extend a helping hand to all those down below. She's actually kind of a psychopath. Have you heard her in combat? She's amazing. Oh, Chief. If only you had listened to his words that day. Then you would have gladly joined hands with me to bring salvation to this decaying world. Don't worry, Chief. I'll save you, too. You leave me with no choice, Chief. Alright, nice battle art. A step ahead. What is he weak to? Darkness! Hey, that's something we actually have. Rain begins to fall. Are we gonna be poisoned? We're gonna get poisoned, aren't we? Hey, Let me do that. I'm a ah, shit. What to do? I'm assuming at some point... You're too kind. Um here I come. Fuck, okay. Get two there. Try bow. No? Oh my god, what are you weak to? Here I go. I don't have any axe techs. Ow. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's super bad. That's actually really fucking bad. <laughs> that's super bad. You have healing hands. My turn. Yeah, I guess. Uh Pierce. Just keep doing that. Uh, we have twin serpent, right? Yourself. So, how's this? That's something. It's better than nothing. Six. Ow! What to do? What to do? Dick. Vulnerable. Yes. If he does prickly thing again, we'll die. I probably should have healed there. How's this? Well, that's extremely unfortunate. Um. Watch me. So we'll get her back up. Hang in there. I appreciate it, Throne. Ready? Come over here. That's. Open. He actually does not get a turn before us, which is unfortunate. I guess I could break him next turn. Calculations complete. Oh, he's gonna go. Fuck. Oh my god. Two people are gonna die. <laughs> this cannot be. Fuck! I fucked that up. I really did not Ready? even... <sighs> Shit! Okay, yeah, I fucked that up horribly. Ally, um... Yeah, I really fucked that up. Wow. I should have broke him. And I did not. I can still fight. Here 
He gets another turn. Over. Ready? Fuck! I forgot he was poisoned. Also, I think my controller hit the fucking mic when I threw it in the air like I just don't care. Why? Why won't you understand? Think of the pain of losing the one you love. The horror of knowing that one day you will die. What worth is there in a life painted with pain and bitter regret? That doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. Like, I get it. It sucks when something dies, but... The reason why it sucks so bad is because of all the memories you made and love you made with whatever died. And, yeah, like, I mentioned I might not get pets once Casey and Venus go, but doesn't mean I regretted getting them. I love them, and it hurts, and it's the only time it hurts that bad. But honestly, to be fair, like, even yesterday, there was another bunny's nest in my yard. That I spent most of my night going out and making sure that they were okay and making sure the mother came back to feed them. Because if they didn't, I was going to still bring them in and make sure they were okay. So even though I like say like I might not get pets, I'm totally probably going to get pets one day if something needs the help. Like, I, I don't get this trope sometimes. Well, most times, actually. I get the trope where you lose a loved one and then you lose your shit and want to bring pain to everyone. That that I get more than this trope. Because, yeah, the pain sucks. But the reason why it sucks is because of all the good shit that, I don't know. Life may have its painful and bitter moments, but there's always hope. The hope to end pointless conflict. The hope to tell your daughter how much you care. That's not even what he was arguing, though. Like, <laughs> that's, what it, that's not even why he, what he was arguing. He, if he was arguing there was no good in this world and death was the only salvation, I, I would get that more than what's the point of living if you know it's just going to end bitterly. Th did I misread that or what? It is our mission as apothecaries to ensure that everyone lives long enough for their hopes to become reality. Even if it costs us our own lives. Ah, Chief. Look at you. So filled with futile suffering. Now that's Oswald, actually. Let me Who's unconscious in the poison rain right now. You already said that. You can only say that once to have any impact. I'll cleanse the taint on you. Ha! <laughs> taint. On everyone. With the sweet purity of death. Now die! 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 Missile barrage? <laughs> made me very angry. Oh, fuck off. Oh, please be weak to... That was cool looking, actually. Uh, please be weak to sword now. Because I really need you to be weak to sword. My turn. Oh, he's weak to sword. Let's get Oswald up. Oh, we can't do that with you, huh? Uh huh. Well, <laughs> well, there goes that one. Allow me. 
And now I hit need to heal your SP. Oh, fuck off. Hey, this is actually a pretty hard battle. I will save you. We might actually have to redo this. I really messed up that fucking bullshit earlier. Uh, let's go ahead and break it, and never mind, we can't. Make me very angry. No, They're dead. Did this. More. And I can't heal. More <clears throat> oh, I can't heal at all? Oh, wow. Well, hopefully he's dead here, but probably not. Okay, we're gonna have to retry the fight. Wow, we actually got a game over on a boss! Shocking! Alright, did I put him there? No, okay. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and try that again. Everyone healed? Fuck. Okay, well that's fine. You leave me with no choice, Trousseau. But when he transforms. My turn. Um here, poison axe. Poison slash. Ah, there. No then. I'm gonna go ahead and use advanced magic on you now. My turn. And then we'll just go ahead and use twin serpent. I don't know if um ready. Yeah, I don't know if uh Advanced magic will actually work no. with this. Magia Inviti. Oh, it does. For a true friend. My turn. Good. Uh, let's go ahead and I have a talent for this. You. To everyone. Time for your medicine. My turn. And twin serpents. Allow me. Okay, so then we'll double. My turn. This. As as a snake. This is what I was meant to do last time. And totally fucked it up. Ready? Well, to be fair, last time. Sorry, but I won't hold back. Yeah, I kind of misjudged some. Some life. Brand, the thunder blade. Now it begins. All right, so we'll do this. Is this there? Oh, we didn't put criticals on. Oh well. Here I go. So she should get another one. These hands. Drastic treatment is in order. Oh, we need to put the limit on you! I need a pimp. Calculations complete. Magia and VT. You have healing hands. My turn. Do I this. For my friends. And this I should fuck you blade, up. The Thunder Blade. How is Thorny doing more damage to you? How does she have higher? She must have crit. Even she should not have higher strength than him. I think, like her weapon's even weaker. Make me 
Rain hits us both, which is great. Great Kronos ass, you know. <laughs> Ready? It's a, it's not great, but it does hit him, which is nice. My turn. Drastic treatment is in order. No. Uh, I guess this. Magia Ingrid. You have healing hands. Prepare and, uh, maybe I should have hit it with uh, light to get more SP. My turn. This should break you. Right. So that's your weakness. My turn. I guess do that My for now. Sinks. No. Then. then we'll hit you with light. You have healing at my turn. Drastic treatment is in order. I mean, we're not gonna probably be able to Eating beat him time. here. Actually, you know what? Is there anything that heals and gives a bunch of BP? Yeah. Hang in there. I owe We might have not have needed that, <laughs> to say the least. Magia Envy. But hey, can't go wrong there. I summon Brand, the Thunder Blade. Good. For the pride of Ku. Hey, all of life. I didn't even need any of that time. Yeah, I really fucked up that first attempt. <coughs> I need a miracle cure. Snowdrops. The flower Malaya gave me. But... This poison rain afflicts people with so many disparate ill effects. It seems impossible to create one medicine to cure them all. And yet, I must... I mean, there's jam that heals your health completely and your magic and your BP, so I'm sure you could do it. I'm the only one who can do it. I mean, honestly, I'm surprised that wasn't more of a part of your story. Tea. Tea time? Casty. Hello, memory lady. has led to this moment, to this cure. Has it? My journey. Pure bomb. To cleanse... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Scale bark leaf. To gift Rosa the time she needed. Santa Nejo blossom. To save Sally's life. And sky bomb. And finally... The snowdrop and trust You know what? I take back what I said. When you when you list it out like that, yeah, okay. It, your journey really did list all that. To do all that. I know you can do it. I can. I must. Oh, what are we doing? Pure bomb, scale bark leaf, sky bomb, and finally, 
snowdrop petals. I've never made any medicine like this before. There's no guarantee it will work. Or that it's safe. I'll just have to test it. I mean, the alternative is myself. everyone dying anyway, so you know what? Step ahead, baby. Well, now. Uh. I'll pour my soul into this cure. Sure. Rain remedy. Respiration steady. The bleeding is slowing too. I can feel the numbness fading as well. And of greatest import, the black swellings are gone. That's a fast medicine. All the symptoms are cured. Thank you, Malaya. I did it. Just like you said I could. Good. I've watched so many die. Time and time again. <laughs> so this is what death feels like. Casty, heal him so we could torture him. Dog, have you done not listening to her? She likes it. She won't admit it, but she likes it. I had to extend one hand to take life in order to save a thousand with the other. <laughs> you haven't changed a whit, Chief. Not since I first met you. Changed at all. <sighs> but in this vast graveyard of decay, how long can you remain the same? God, thank you. <laughs> True soul. Stomp on his head to make sure. Oh, we gotta go, like, give everyone that medicine, don't we? Returning to normal. Which is also Cassie. faster than the last one. Master Edmund. Am I glad to see you? Enough about me. The town? We got pretty much everyone to safety in time. Pretty much. Uh, what's the number of people you didn't? There were some stragglers, though. They're all fighting for their lives against that poison. <coughs> Damn. Looks like I inhaled some of that smoke myself. I mean, it wasn't really much of a choice. It was in the air. The rain. Take this, Master Edmund. Not all of it, just a sip. Sure. Wait. Don't tell me this is... It is... a cure. Incredible. We'll be able to save everyone with this stuff. Indeed. Now hurry. Every second counts. You got it. We take his outfit. It's kind of cool. No, oh, okay. Just asking. <laughs> we would wash it first, obviously. We're not weird. Edmund, over here. Our bone mender's back. Everything's gonna be fine. Maybe. We don't promise that. We're gonna do our best. Can you help them, Casty? Of course. I'll get right to work. 
Easy there. It'll be all right. I don't think he's conscious. Was there no way for us to split it up so people could just like run and give everyone the the cure? Like knock knock, sorry. That should be everyone. I did it, Malaya. Everyone. I saved them. <laughs> I am fucking exhausted. Oh. Malaya. Did I live up to your expectations? I'd say you did, and then some. You saved a lot of people's lives. This is a flashback or just a dream? Thank you, Chief. Okay, it's a dream. I'm sure the others feel the same. <sighs> Casty. I'm so very tired. I'd like to rest, Chief. Lend me a helping hand? Are you only to poison you? I can do that. Hopefully I have the ingredients for it. Oh, oh Sky Bomb. I got gotcha. you. I don't have enough for everyone, though. I only had one. But the rest of you have to be spirits that haunt this Good land. Night. All of you. Well, I guess one was enough. Morning, Bone Mender. I slept here all night? What? Oh, my back's gonna while be fucked snoozing, up. We had ourselves a coronation. I must have been out for a long time. The townsfolk? Wait, you had a coronation immediately after? That's insane. See for yourself. That's actually legitimately just like, I feel like the king probably would have been shielded away for like a month before this shit happened. Maybe they did it to send a message? I don't know. Oh, is that that, uh, that, that girl from Particio's story? Looks like her. Excuse me. Are you the apothecary everyone's talking about? Ori, right? In the blind yeah, forest? I'm a scrivener. I write stories for a gazette, the Delsta Times. I hear you saved the lives of all the good people of Timberane. Do you have any message to share with the world? You don't have the name. Maybe you're just like a generic scrivener, I guess. You say I saved them? No. It wasn't just me. It was mostly me. No, oh, okay. They helped a little bit, but it was mostly me. I killed the bad guy. I stopped the rain. I came up with the cure. Oh, you meant your oh okay. Sorry, I meant you thought you meant the soldier people here. <laughs> That's fine. They're all dead, so they can't take any of the, the glory. Oh, uh, complete Cassie story. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, I'm assuming... Oh, there we go. Uh, EX skill remedy. Travel banter. To use yourself as your own test subject, you are a truly impressive researcher. Is this the standard practice for testing new medicines? It is. Medicine can only be administered to a patient once its safety, uh, safety is confirmed. Medicine and poison are, can, are, can only, are only a hair's breadth apart. That's fucking very true. <laughs> like, you, like, man. Some of the medicines out there, it's like, oh yeah, take this. Do not take, like, anywhere near the amount of, like, double doses or you will die. Or you'll give yourself liver failure or something. Mistake dosage and your, your cure is a killer. Interesting. Trial and error. That's how I've arrived at many of my discoveries. But in your line of work, experimentation is a matter of life and death. Truth be told, I made many errors in my day. Often they left me on death's door. Luckily, over time, it's made me immune to all but the most violent poisons. You've been poisoned in battle before. Don't fucking lie, Casty. If you ever fear assassination and need a food tester, I'm your girl. Hmm. He's like, I can use that. I think you should take better care of yourself. Okay, no more travel banter. What is this skill? Apparently, we were not a master apothecary. Remedy! Grants a random alley three positive status effects. Cool beans. But... Okay, so I don't have to be maxed out for that? Nice. Alright, cool. Well... Uh, I guess that's it for Casty's story. Uh, next time... Well, they're all level 45. Who am I gonna do? Oswald? Oh, man, you know what? We gotta do Oswald because, seriously, I really want to kill Harvey. So we're gonna do that next time. Thank you for watching. Uh, oh, oh, crap. I gotta go get the dancer altar. I'll do that before Agnia's uh, story. But yeah, next time we'll uh, go and do uh, Oswald's story. Thanks for watching. Bye.